Say, are you looking for an addition to the family? Something low maintenance, beautiful, with a potential lifespan of 100 years? Well, how about a pint-sized tree? Miranda Cohen recently investigated the ancient art of cultivating bonsai trees. And yes, that is the correct pronunciation, according to Creekside Bonsai. This one's way overgrown. I'm cutting back to uh, bring it back in and compact it. John Cole is the owner of Creekside Bonesai on Nolansville Road. And yes, as the president of the Nashville Bonesai Association, he assures us that is the correct pronunciation. Bonesai, bone means tray and sai means tree. So you basically have a tree planted in a tray. Everyone loves a little tree in a pod. <laughs> And the fascination with miniature trees growing in small containers is taking root. It has been going crazy. I've never seen anything like it. It's, uh, it's way beyond my expectations. We're going to work on our trees a little bit today, and but the first thing you have to do before you can work on your tree is get to know your tree. Today, John is teaching a class in the art of delicately shaping and coaxing the foliage to reveal its own personality. I think uh, everyone living in more of an urban environment these days, they need a connection to nature or they're looking for one. And uh, they feel like they can do this through bonsai. So yeah, so like the ones like this. Clip that right off. Cut that right off. The students may be getting younger, but the Japanese art form is ancient and revered. The art of cultivating bonsai trees has literally been around for thousands of years, with the very first one dating back to Japan in the year 760. Now, they haven't been in this country that long, but if cared for properly, they will truly become a part of the family. They can live for hundreds of years. They can live almost indefinitely as long as you are taking care of them correctly. Growing something in a shallow tray can be a challenge. Cole says every tree is different and must be cared for differently. Everything from drainage, substrate, light, and humidity can all affect the vitality of the tree. This is one of my favorite little trees. This is a seiju elm. And what makes it so nice, it has a really nice fat trunk for its size. And really what really helps is the scale of the leaves are so small, which helps make this look like an older tree and a mature tree. Arthur Liego is both a student and a teacher of the craft. An engineer by trade, he is drawn to the meticulous detailing of gently guiding the branches and allowing their natural beauty to take shape. It's really intrigued me as the ultimate intersection of art and horticulture and engineering and all of that just kind of smashed together because um, it's in essence basically sculpture but it is dynamic. It's living. Uh, it's the only living sculpture that I really know of. And interest is growing as quickly as the trees themselves. Cole says his classes are getting bigger and more in demand. You know, they'll take one class and then they want to take the next one too. Well, you have to have patience, definitely, because <laughs> it doesn't happen overnight. Um, some trees you can style immediately and like the young junipers that I use in my classes, and one of the reasons I use those is you can style those and leave with something that looks like a bonsai immediately. And this new generation of bonsai enthusiasts are learning a lesson as old as the trees themselves. The true secret of the living sculpted tree is in the peaceful and focused process itself. When I'm in the zone, I am, it makes me feel sharper, uh, makes me feel more in touch with my hands in particular and like what I'm doing and every single motion needs to be deliberate. You need to have a plan and you know, really know what you're gonna be doing with every single way you move your hands, move your body around the tree, navigate the tree. It's just such an enjoyable experience. Um, it is very uh, relaxing. It's amazing. I can have so many things going on in my life 
but then when I sit down and start working on that tree, you just forget about everything else. Everything else is just gone, melts away. 